guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Again, my name is Annie. I do videos about vlog, do it yourselves, organization, cleaning, fitness, a whole bunch of other stuff. Today, I'm giving you tips and tricks on how to make your mornings not only easier, but more productive. So if this interests you, stick around and let's get on to the video. Start your day the night before. So what I mean by this, do whatever you can at night that you'll need for the morning. So for me, what I do is I pack my lunch, pick out my clothes, and shower all the night before. By doing these three things the night before, I'm allowing myself an, either an extra 45 minutes to an hour of sleep, or giving myself 45 minutes to an hour extra in the morning to complete any errands I need to run, tasks that need done, anything like that. Prep your area the night before. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I function the best when my area around me is clean and organized. When this is done, I tend to have a better day all around. I spend the majority of my time in the mornings in my kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, and living room. So these four areas in my house, the night before, I take about 10 to 15 minutes before bed and straighten up items that might be out of place, wash my dishes, clean the vanity counter sink, and make sure that my room is organized as possible. I have a organized space that is clean and prepped so that I can start my day the right way. Take the extra 30 seconds to a minute to make your bed. It kind of goes along with having that cleaned space. Not only will having that made bed create a more productive and organized environment, but it'll also kind of be a mental block as to not being able to get back in bed and realizing that it's time to focus and get stuff done in the mornings. Find a method of waking up that works the best for this you. This is so important. A couple months ago, I was convinced I needed five to six alarms to wake up in the morning. And I was actually setting them one hour before I needed to get up. And so with my alarms going off every 15 minutes, I realized eventually that I was losing about an hour of sleep because I didn't really need to be up that time, but I had mentally convinced myself that I would not wake up with only one alarm. And what I found works for me is that setting one alarm and allowing one snooze. And after that first snooze, I have conditioned myself to wait any longer that I will be late and will not be able to get everything done that I need to get done. Other methods that you could use are putting your alarm away from you so you actually have to get up in the morning and turn it off. I know some people, don't wanna do that because they use their alarm on their phone, but you can always get an alarm clock, which is what we used to all use before cell phones. Drink water while you're getting ready, not coffee. Not coffee. Water has known benefits for waking up your body and getting your body ready for the day. Drinking water first thing in the morning it can help with your digestive system, your immune system, your appetite, and your metabolism. I make coffee after I'm done, which is a little reward for myself for getting up, getting ready, and being productive. Find something to occupy your mind while you're getting ready. This is a big one for me, and I learned this during college when I had those 8 a.m. classes. And so the pick-me-up that I found is to watch a show in the morning that makes me laugh. Now, I recently, and when I say recently, I mean in the last like three years, every single morning I watch an episode or three of Friends. Laughing is a good medicine regardless of any time of the day, and by laughing in the morning, I know that I'm gonna start my day off well and in a positive and optimistic mood. Other options that you can use are listening to the radio, listening to a podcast, an audio book, your favorite music, a good movie, or even just the show that you are currently binging on Netflix. I swear it'll change your life, but you totally forget that you're even up at 6.30, 7.30, 8 in the morning. Use a calendar or a date book, make a to-do list. Whatever it is that's going to get you prepped in the mindset of starting your day. So for work, I'm a case manager, so I have 
25 clients that I see periodically throughout the week. So I really rely on my planner to kind of tell me what I'm doing that day at what time, where I need to be, where I, what I need to bring, all that fun stuff. So I take minutes of my morning to look at my planner, figure out where I need to go, what I'm going to be doing, and just kind of planning my day out so that I don't run into any surprises and I'm fully aware of what's going to happen. Eat breakfast. Now, I'm not really a breakfast person. I don't really get hungry until about 10 o'clock in the morning, but I know that it is good supposed to feed your mind in the morning. Usually my breakfast just can... Are you done? You can always make overnight oats or make breakfast the night before so that in the morning you can just grab it and warm it up and go. Give yourself time to reflect on your morning and your day. Tip number three with your planner or to-do list. Tip number two with your breakfast. And tip number one, giving yourself time to reflect can all be done in a five to 10 minute span all together. Trust me guys, this is going to change your morning. Giving yourself even two to five minutes to sit, relax, eat your breakfast, go over your day and plan it is going to make your day so much better. Doing this, you are already getting yourself in the mindset of having a productive day. By the time it is time to go to work or wherever you're going in the morning, positive and ready to take on the rest of your day. I hope that you like these tips. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Share it with your friends. Let me know if you tried these, if any of these work for you. And with that being said, I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.